Hey there, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make decals or even heat transfer vinyl images from pictures. And of course they have to be turned into black and white or whatever color you want. But I'm going to show you in this video how to do that. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to come up here to my merge, file and merge. And I'm going to grab a, I think I'm going to grab a couple of images just to show you the different things you can do. I'm going to bring in me and my dad. May he rest in peace. This is, this picture is about, I don't know, three years old. Let's go ahead and start with this one. So we're, what we're going to do is come up here to the uh, right panel. We're going to click on that little slice of bread, open the trace panel. Let me silence my phone. And you're going to just click on select trace area. And then highlight your, your photo. And for the threshold, you can just start off with the first one, whatever it highlights, and then just uh, just trace it. We'll see what that does. Good, that looks wicked. Let me just color this in black. See what we get. Okay, so we. <clears throat> You can use that if you're happy with it. I'm not happy. Uh, not too much is coming out because of my dad's white hair. So you can come back and do it again. But this time you can bump up the threshold. So we're going to do that again. Trace. And this way you can bring in more of the pictures. So... Waiting for it. Sorry, my system is slow this morning. I'm not sure why. Okay, so we're going to bump it up just a little bit more just to pick up some of the hairs. Uh, pick up all the mine. Let's try. I guess let's try, let's try this one. I'll do um I'll do another one of just me myself, see so you can see what you can do with that. You can uh, if this thing will hurry up. <clears throat> this might be a little bit too much, but we'll see. Yeah, that's too much. But what you can do is you can bring it to the back. We'll just come up here, line it up and center it. Yeah, that's not a good one, but you get the idea. I'm going to bring in another one. That's going to be too much. <clears throat> you just want to make it a little bit darker. I mean, if you want, you can always do something like this. Just his hair. Bump up the threshold that way. I mean, everything else looks good. Let's do that trace. And then what you can do is just come up here, right click, and release the compound path. And you can get rid of whatever you don't want. And you can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then what I would do is 
I would group this. I want to keep this because it's the side here. I want to see what it does. Let me go ahead and make it black. And then go ahead and group it. And then just kind of place it. If you wanted to use this as a guide. group delete that and there's a there's a there's a way that that's a way that you can do a family portrait or just a picture of I mean any, anybody any any person um, he trash for violence you can make a decal it's totally up to you however you want to handle it my system is going super slow today. Go back. No, it's going too slow. I'm trying to get rid of that top piece right there. Oh my gosh, it's going slow. I wanted to do another one, but it's going super slow. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, it's going really slow. Um, let me just try one more. See, see, uh, see how fast I can get it done. So let's say that's my family portrait. I'm gonna use a picture of me from two years ago when I wasn't so chunky. <clears throat> this is me on my way to Las Vegas, uh, 2018. So again, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to trace it. I'm not going to do anything with the threshold. Just whatever comes up is what I'm going to go with. And you can, if you're doing a decal or even a t-shirt, if you transfer vinyl, you know, I could type in, you know, like, happy birthday, whoever this person is, and... If you want to expose their age or what have you, you can just put little notes around this person. Like, I belong to or whatever. Just an idea. Trace it. Let's see. And then again, if you're not happy with it, just bump up the threshold. Do it again. That looks crazy. See, I, I need my, my bottom lip so you can do it again. Let's see, we're going to just bump it up just a little bit as soon as this thing hurries up. So here's the second time. And again, this you can just use as a shadow to put behind the first one, or you can use this one. So there you are. There are your, there's a few ways that you can make your heat transfer vinyl images or decals using this method. Uh, just I would I recommend just playing with it until you get the one that you want, and just go from there. So yeah, just play with it and have fun with it. I hope this video was helpful. Until next time.